I know it's a really good session today. Hope you found it helpful. Just going to run through what we talked about <clears throat> in the session. Set up Y's from the previous lesson. Very, very good. You're creating that really good lowercase Y. Hands on the sequence. Now you're going through looking really, really good. I think the one thing we discussed, obviously, in the session that's important to when you go and practice, try to go there with a purpose. Don't just go there and whack golf balls <clears throat> Until the ball starts, got to go in straight. What you want to really do is go there. And like any rugby training session, warm up properly. Have a few swings. I'm going to go back much further than this. And just sort of hit the ball down the fairway, kind of small little swings. <coughs> and then build up into a fuller swing. If we look here on the left-hand side, set it wise, like I say, very, very good. The tendency you had, now maybe because of a little bit of stiffness, maybe because you hadn't really warmed up, or maybe just because of lack of confidence, maybe moving so far... You find you tend to take the golf club away a little bit with your arms and your hands in, you know, sort of picking the golf club up and moving the club away more with all the uh, the arms pushing it away rather than your left shoulder, left hip moving out of the way. So when you get sort of top of the back swing here, not too bad a movement there, but the arms a little bit low there, not really getting sort of full turn with the hips and the shoulders. So what we suggested, obviously, when you're doing your practice swings away from the ball, just try and turn as much as you can. <clears throat> the important thing, though, is you're turning with the shoulders on an angle. It is easier to rotate and obviously level off your shoulders. Yes, you'll go back further, but obviously the quality of that rotation won't be very good. So as we go back with this one here now, we can see really, really good shoulder turn. Right arm now is certainly a lot higher and looks longer just because you've turned a lot more. So your arm's got further to travel. And what we find that when the body turns fully and the arms go back as fully, your sequencing and stuff is going to be so much better. That club can then come back down to the golf ball much more on a decent line there. Club face nice and square now because of the grip and the setup. And we can sort of turn through the golf ball there. Nice balance follow through. This foot up on its toes, a good indicator. And this foot now, the right foot nice and stable there, swinging onto that lead side. So to sum all this up now, practice wise, Try to go there, say, with a purpose, make small warm-up swings, chipping the ball 50, 60, 70 yards, maybe an eight or a nine, even a wedge, and then build up to the fuller swings. Then in your practice swings, trying to feel like you're turning as much as you can, making sure that your shoulders are on a good angle to the golf ball. Then when you step to the golf ball, you just go and hit it. Maybe at four or five in a row towards the target, see where they go. If they're decent, maybe change clubs, do the same again, four or five shots in a row with a different club. If they're not as good as what you want, maybe a couple sort of spinning off to the left here where you've caught the hosel or the, the inside heel of the club, as we call it, next to the shaft, and you've shanked it, then go back to the warm the practice drills again, getting the sensation we're turning more, get those arms a little bit higher. So it's basically going through a practice session and just sort of progressing through it bit by bit rather than just as you said 60 balls 15 minutes machine gun style until the ball kind of eventually might go straight just through kind of unconscious adjustments that you'll be making so try and get some sessions down the range if you can do between now and thursday or friday when our next lesson is if you can we will see you then if not obviously you can give me a shout and we can rearrange but yeah work on those few bits and pieces any questions give me a shout and i will see you again cheers mate